Hey guys, Proper English here, and today we're going to take a look at some more fancy wiring. So sometimes when you're building your latest redstone creation, you want to take a wire that's up high and send it down to the bottom, and you want it to switch places with the wire that's on the bottom. So you want to take this guy and send it up here. Now, if it's just one set of wires, that's not too hard to do, but when you've got more than one, and especially if you're keeping things too wide, it can get a bit trickier. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a way to get these wires all twisted around and where you want them to go, and we're going to keep it too wide. We're also going to focus in on the little tricks that I've used to keep this compact, and these are tricks that you can think about whenever you're doing your wiring, right? Not just for this situation, but you can apply them to a lot of things, and it looks like Redstone Warriors saying hi. Well, I'm going to cut it now, and we're going to get to our demonstration. All right, so let's take a look at how this thing works. Now I've got two bits set up over here, and I've spread them out a little bit so we can really see what's going on. The more compacted versions over here, I'm gonna have a world download so you can take a look at what's going on in this one, but it's easier to see how things work over here. And so the way I'm doing this is I've set up a front back stagger, okay? So that means in this bit over here, it's bulky up front, then it's bulky back here in this one, and we alternate every single time. You can see how that works over here, right? So it's bulky up here, then it's bulky back here, and we do that every single time all the way down. And that works out beautifully because when it's bulky in one bit, it's really slim in the other one, and that way we can get this thing to be too wide. And so let's take a look over here. I can show you that this thing actually works. We'll turn a couple of these on. And how about that one, that one, turn one of these on, and then we'll turn these guys on. Okay, and we can see that this guy over here is coming right down to the bottom. We look over here, we've got the bottom one on, coming up to the top. This one's heading down over to the bottom. This one again on the top, going to the bottom. Then we've got two back here, going from the bottom up to the top, and it works out perfectly. So I'm really liking this thing. now. There's one thing that's a bit more subtle going on here, another stagger that, uh, that I think we should take a look at because it's pretty cool and I just came up with it right before I started the video. So let's jump in and take a look at that. All right, so you might have noticed that I've got the bulky part of these cells set up a little bit differently. In this one over here, I've got the signal coming up from the bottom on the left side. In this one, I've got the signal coming from the bottom moving up on the right side, and there's a good reason for that. If I move these cells closer together, this block over here ends up being right here, and there would be some wire on it, and all we need to do is put some insulation down. However, if this block, let's say this was the other way, right? We can get rid of some of these over here and sort of mimic the situation. It's not the exact thing, but it's pretty close. Um, so let's say we were coming from the top and going down, and uh, we'll throw one more block over here. Well, we're going to have a problem because this wire right here is going to interact with this wire right here. We need an extra space, and we can actually fly over here, and you'll see exactly how I had it set up about 10 minutes ago before I realized, oh, hey, I can make this even smaller. And so you can see right here, well, if we moved this one, well, let's actually throw that right back. Hey, there we go. And so now if we move these closer together, these wires would interact. That's no good, and it's bigger, right? So we have to separate that a little bit so that, um, so that nothing interacts and, and everything works properly. But if we stagger it just a little bit differently, then we're all set to go. This thing is super compact. And there you go, a couple of wiring tips and a useful little setup that I hope will help you in your builds. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.